Today, the Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, has said that since the reports of the outbreak surfaced last August, four cases have been confirmed. She spoke at a press conference in Kampala in the company of officials from the World Health Organization and Food and Agriculture Organization. Since August 2017, when suspected cases were reported, four cases of the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever have been confirmed and five cases of the Rift Valley fever. The, let the, the latest cases being reported on the 19th of January 2018 in Nakaseke and Buikwe districts, respectively. Acheng says measures to prevent the spread of the disease in the districts along the Kato Corridor have been taken. Spraying of ticks and insects is already ongoing in selected districts within the Kato Corridor, including Nakaseke, Sembabule, Chegegwa, Liantonde, Mubende, and Gomba. On 5th January, the health minister dismissed reports of an outbreak of the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever in the central district of Nakaseke, as had been reported by the district authorities. The ministry's permanent secretary, Dr. Diana Twine, advised the public to ignore the announcement of the disease caused by a tick-borne virus. There is no epidemic of that Congo fever. The ministry later made a U-turn and confirmed an outbreak of the hemorrhagic fever in Nakaseke district after samples were taken from a nine-year-old who was under isolation at Kiwoko Hospital and who later tested positive for the fever. On the 27th of December 2017, results from the Uganda Virus Research Institute tested positive from, for the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever and negative for other viral hemorrhagic fevers like Ebola, Mabab, Rift Valley fever, and Sosuga. A day later, doctors under the Uganda Medical Association accused the Minister of Health for failing to handle the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever in Nakaseke district and putting the lives of health workers at risk. State Minister for Health, Sarah Opendi, responded. We buried the suspect, but the way we buried that suspect, it was an epidemic move. There is a body bag, you are not supposed to touch the body. In other words, what is on the ground and what is being said are in conflict. We received one case and we reported accordingly in the previous media briefs that this nine-year-old boy that was previously reported to have tested positive turned negative and was subsequently discharged from the hospital. Meanwhile, Three deaths from the Rift Valley fever have been confirmed in the districts of Chiboga, Buikwe and Mitiana. Both Crimean Congo fever and the Rift Valley fever are viral diseases that are found amongst livestock but can be transmitted to humans. Andrew Anitwe, NTV, Kampala.